Welcome back to School on Business. Remember, scorenashville.org. I'm Pete Hendricks, and we're back with Brett Holliday. So, Brett, on this show, we spend a lot of time focusing on early stage small business. And that's probably where the time should be because that needs that's who needs to learn a lot. But, you know, an entrepreneur can go through life and be either ready to retire or ready to sell the business. And there are a lot of mistakes that can happen there as well. So when when somebody is realizing they may want to sell their business, how many, how if they want to sell it, how many years before should they start working on that? Pete, I think the day they open the doors, they need yeah. to at least start thinking about an exit strategy. Mm -hmm. Now, don't don't get me wrong, it doesn't need to be detailed. But at some point, right. that business owner will leave the business, mm -hmm. either on his or her terms, or go out of business and sell it off stick by stick. Right. Or uh, they may be carried out of there as as, as right. no fun as that is to think about. Well, the the thing, Brett, there, as I understand, and this is something I don't know, so I'm going to ask you, there are a lot of things that can be done to impact the value of a sale. And mm -hmm. so what are some of those, and it, and it depends on the industry, what are some things to, that impact that? Well, uh, the first part of that question is given the change in our, our population, mm -hmm. uh, a lot of people call it the baby boomer tsunami. Right. The baby boomers are a huge segment of the population. Mm -hmm. They are reaching retirement age. They want to retire like everyone else in the workforce. Yeah. There will be an unprecedented number of businesses that are up for sale mm -hmm. over the next 15 years or so. What that is going to do, depending on location, depending on industry, is make it a buyer's market, in my opinion. One of the things these companies that are for, uh, that are going up for sale need to think about is how are they going to separate themselves mm -hmm. from the other companies that are on the market. So, my recommendation is, whenever uh, a business owner is serious about selling the business, really 18 to 24 months in advance, mm -hmm. that needs to that needs to start to go into a serious planning mode. Mm -hmm. uh, the reason for this is is to make sure that the company, uh, as we've talked about, are, are the financials in order. So, the, a a critical factor I would think would be the financial statements in determining what it's going to sell for. Is that correct? Well, that is that's one factor. Okay. Another factor, or another several factors, is it's important to evaluate that company's risk level. Mm -hmm. The quality of the financial statements is, is certainly a level of risk. Mm -hmm. the, if, the, if the processes around the financials are, are solid, that is a level of risk. Uh -huh. For example, if there's a software system that is crashing three times a week, yes. for example, a buyer is going to want to know that. Yeah. That's something that a business owner needs to take into account. Right. That also will reduce risk. The more risk that can be taken out of that transaction mm -hmm. uh, is going to result in a greater sales price. Right. So having the correct financials, having being able to demonstrate things that things are working correctly. Mm -hmm. um, and it may be, they may be thinking about buying some equipment or investing in something um, which would have made great sense all the years they've been in business, but it might not for the value of the company. Well, that, that's true. That's, that's an area that needs to be evaluated. If it, yeah. if it does make sense, if a prospective buyer is going to need to replace that equipment, mm -hmm. that, that is something that the business owner needs to seriously consider. What you made me think about, um, if I, during times in my life when I've needed to sell a house, mm -hmm. I would get an inspector to come look at it ahead of time and fix everything so that when their inspector came, it was in good shape. And that's mm -hmm. an, an analogy to what you said. Let's go, they can bring you or someone who does what you do in uh, several years ahead of time and let you get everything 
where it reduces the amount of risk that people mm -hmm. are going to feel like they have to take account for. For. That's correct. You okay. probably, probably painted the walls too, didn't you? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Painted the walls. <laughs> yeah. So, Brent, we're we're within a few seconds of running out of time. Okay. Okay. So, thank you for being here and maybe summarizing a couple of important things: correct financial statements, KPIs, and taking action based on those. Mm -hmm. As you're preparing to sell a business, make mm -hmm. make sure that you are. Um, reducing the risk by mm -hmm. by working on things. And there's okay, one other so, thing there. Okay, hold on. We are okay. out of time. Okay. Thank you. We'll see you next week. Bye now.